For my Tiny Pico production, my ultimate goal is to be able to build all of my panels on my pick and place machine. So with my audio shield, I am now able to place every component that you see here on the pick and place machine in one hit, including the switches, the trim pots and the buzzers. It's pretty exciting. It means there's no manual work at all involved other than stenciling and then reflowing. But what happens when you have a panel that has some components on it that don't come in pick and place friendly packaging, like the battery clips coming in bags, which is a little bit annoying, and the ICs coming in tubes. So the battery clips I don't really have a solution for, unfortunately. I've tried a few different things, but ultimately I need to still hand place those on the boards after they've been pick and placed. But I do have a solution for the tubes. Let's find out what it is. This is called a vibration feeder. So it's attached to my pick and place machine and the tube goes inside this little clamp and at the end there's the ICs exposed and the whole unit vibrates. And what it does while it's vibrating is all the little ICs jiggle along, jiggle along, jiggle along all the way down the tube and it keeps presenting one at the end over here. The unit itself is pretty crude to be honest. Had I have known what it was going to be when I bought it I probably could have just made something myself. But it's okay. What you need to do with the tube is cut the end off just the top of the tube to expose the IC and then in the pick and place machine you program this as a pickup position. And so the head comes over here and grabs the IC from there and then the next ones shuffle down. The actual vibration unit itself has got a variable vibration control but I found that I need to push it all the way to maximum to get the ICs to come through. So let's have a look at it running and watch the pickup head pick up the ICs from the end. And here is the finished board of the pick and place machine. So as you can see, all the ICs in the right spot, which is pretty cool. Unfortunately, I can't find a solution for the battery clips. I tried doing those on the pick and place in various ways, but they're just really hard to pick up. There's no steady pick up place for them. As you can see, they bounce around a bit. I tried picking out from this point here, but when they hit the, the PCB, they turn like that. So. It looks like I'm still manually placing the battery clips on, which is a bit of a pain, but you know, it's definitely faster than doing the battery clips and the ICs. So I've almost got this whole panel working on the pick and place, which is pretty cool. The vibration feeder is crude, but anyway, I've got it now. I can attach it and remove it as I need, because it's kind of in the way for me working normally. And this is the only component so far that I need to use a vibration feeder for. But it's much more enjoyable doing it like this than it is hand placing all of these ICs. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And to all my patrons, thank you very much. You are awesome. I really appreciate all of your generosity. And until next time, I'll catch you all later. Bye.